<laughs> Good morning, y'all. We've made it to the hospital. Anything you want to tell the people? Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, YouTube fam. It's day two of being in the hospital after having my myomectomy, my microbiotic myomectomy. Um, it's kind of hard to talk just because my stomach is sore. I'm missing a nose ring. I think the hole is closed. It's not missing a habit, but I just didn't haven't put it in. Um, but yeah, I'm really tired. I just had a blood transfusion not too long ago. Um, I haven't really eaten anything. I haven't had an appetite. I think I'm gonna take a nap though. So I'll keep you guys updated, but they said I should be going by tomorrow, but we'll see because I still have a dream and all the other crap, so. I'm going home. <laughs> it is Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know what day it is. I've been in the hospital for two days. But I finally get to go home. Got my little food. I'm not really too hungry. I just can't wait to get home and take a shower for real and see my dog and see my man. In the hospital room. I didn't look out this view the whole time because I didn't feel like having this light on, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's time to go home. Please. Uh, what's popping, YouTube fam? I am currently um, four days uh, post-op. I'm exhausted. Um, I'm still slightly anemic or severely anemic because of the fact that I had to get a blood transfusion. Um, the first two days were really, really hard for me. The first three days, I say the first two days were really, really hard for me. Like, it, everything was just hard. Getting out of bed, going to the bathroom. I wasn't able to fully pee properly. Um, I wasn't able to make a bowel movement until today. Um, I have like five incisions, one that was a drain and then the ones he pulled the fibroids from. I'll post a clip of that in here. Hopefully YouTube doesn't, um, I was gonna say, hopefully YouTube doesn't ban me. Y'all, my brain is all effed up. Like I, I, I could barely do anything when it comes to talking because it's just like a stress on my body. But um, I'm gonna eat this sandwich I got from my favorite place out here, um, Corner Corner Bakery Cafe. I love their food and their chicken pesto sandwich be rocking. So I'm just gonna eat this sandwich and watch some Naturally Sunny. That's my girl. Um, on YouTube. Y'all, look at how my nose ring is gone. This one closed up on the inside and the outside still open, so I couldn't get it back in. Nor am I about to try to, but I'm so mad I got one nose ring now. But I'm in better health than I was before. Um, trying to think what else. I had a catheter in, I had a tube down my throat, and I had a drain. So they took the tube out my throat before I was even awake, thank God, because I did not want to feel that sensation. But when they pulled that catheter out of my vajayjay, God knew I wasn't made for that because that shit hurt. When they pulled this drain out, that shit hurt too. Everything be hurting. But I'm literally about to just sit here and eat. I'm tired. I'm not going to talk, so... I will just talk to you guys maybe later on today or tomorrow. I currently have a headache because I haven't eaten in three days. So, yeah, I'm back. I took a nap. So I just want to show you guys my um, incisions. So if you're squeamish of blood, just skip past a couple seconds because there's going to be blood. But um, this is the incision where my drain was. I'm about to take a shower and, and redo this because it was bleeding because I was sleeping on it. Um, I have an incision here. There's one in my belly button. And then there's two more right here. My stomach is huge right now. Because I'm so bloated. Um, so I just woke up for the nap. Took a shower. Because my drainage hole was bleeding because I slept on it. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know. They didn't tell me I couldn't sleep on it. But it was comfortable. So I slept that way. It was probably like two hours of sleep on the drainage. Yo, I swear to God. 
if I didn't tell you, like, I was having regular surgery and you just seen me, you would think I had a BBL because... Look at this shit. Look at the bruising. My stomach is huge right now because she's so swollen. But those are my incisions. Um, this one here is the one that my drain was in, so it's leaking a little bit because it's going to leak fluid. It's where the drainage hole was at. Of course, I'm watching YouTube videos in the back. But, um... Yeah, this is what they're looking like so far. I've been able to use the bathroom good since, like, day three. Um, I finally had a bowel movement in three days today. So, I'm just going to keep relaxing. And um, I took my medicine, like, an hour before it's supposed to wear off. That way, I don't feel any pain. And as you guys can tell, I'm completely out of breath just talking to you guys and holding the camera. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to get dressed, finish getting dressed, and then um, I think I'm going to make me some tea and convert from the bedroom to the living room. My lip is bleeding because my lip is busted. I'm all effed up in the game, y'all. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to change over to the living room so I can be out in the sun and not lay in the bed all day. Plus, I need to move around a little bit. I want to attempt to walk sage, but I don't because... When I walk too much, my head gets lightheaded and I can hear my heart beating in my ears and I don't like that. So, I'll probably just wait for my boyfriend. Okay, so before we convert to the living room, I just wanted to show you guys how I'm cleaning my, uh, my incisions. The hospital sent me home with tape and galls and um, pretty much everything I need. To keep my wounds clean, they send me home with these right here. It's like, um, these are, they're, um, what the hell is in this? Like, they help, they're meant to help you clean. It smells like rubber alcohol. I'm not sure if it is rubber alcohol, but I just use the clean around the area, not to clean on the area, just because I don't want to use anything that will irritate it. Okay. And then I got my galls. And they also gave me some of these Tramiderm transparent film um, dressing uh, frame things so that I'm able to see like my incisions and stuff like that. But this thing is kind of big and it hurt to take off. So I don't think I'm gonna use that. Yeah. So let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Sorry I'm half dressed y'all, but I really wanna give y'all the full experience of what it's like to go through a robotic myomectomy and I gotta show you guys everything. Like these are my bruises, you can see on my arm. Okay. Um, my hand is bruised up. My hand here is messed up. Can't really see see little holes. Then I got a bruise here. I am messed up in the game, y'all. So let's just get into it and clean my wounds. Um, my hands are clean. I literally just got out the shower. So yeah, so you just snap it. Shake it, 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 shake it. It smells like rubber alcohol, but it don't burn like rubber alcohol do. Alright, so I'm bleeding a little bit. Doctor said that's normal. Now my belly button incision is the only one I can't really clean too much because it's so hard to get in there and um, I can't really see too much so 
again. So that's done. This pack of gauze comes with two in it. I only use one because the incision is so small and it doesn't leak um, as often as you would think it does. It only leaks so much recently because I fell asleep on the actual. All right, so I got my bandages on kind of wonky looking um, what I was saying before my camera cut off on me which I don't know why the hell it did that is um, my aunt Marion was the nurse of the family so she had told us that you could cure um, bruises with Vaseline and tea tree oil and that way they'll go away faster I don't have any tea tree oil, at least I don't think I do. So, yeah. But I'm going to check, double check, triple check, to see if I do. Because if I do have some tea tree oil, I am going to stick it on this bruise. I know Bay probably won't be mad at me because I'm showing a lot of skin right now, but this is my journey. And this is what I am going through. And... I need to document this so everyone can see that you can get a myomectomy and still be able to move around and take care of yourself. So this is the end result. I'm not gonna really turn around, but this is what it looks like when I'm done cleaning my wounds. Like I said before, my belly button is kind of off limits. I can't really see, even if I look in the mirror, I can't really see like how deep or where the incision is. So I'm scared to like try to clean it. But yeah, I have to get some Q-tips and clean it eventually. I just can't right now. It's too sore. But taking a shower helps get rid of some of the dried up blood. But yeah, now we're going to convert to the living room. Now that I am officially done healing my wound. Hey guys. So I know it's been a little minute since I put out um, my first myomectomy vlog. It's been about three weeks since i jumped in front of a camera and recorded just because uh like the first two weeks after surgery i was having the most excruciating headaches because of the fact that i was still severely anemic um and then literally just recently i just been getting in the flow like of getting back into my normal life like being able to move and do everything like I've been up and moving, but now I feel like 100% me. I no longer have headaches. Um, my body doesn't hurt. I still get aches here and there in like one of my incisions, maybe because that one was the deepest, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think like what else I can tell you guys. Okay, so let's run it down. I had a blood transfusion. That was crappy, you guys know about that. Um, Recovery is supposed to take four to six weeks. I am on week Let me see. I am on week One two three. I'm on week three of recovery. I feel great Um, not to say that everyone is going to feel the same as me. I feel great I feel like my normal self I can get up and do everything that I used to be able to do um, which is amazing 
move you guys back some um i really just been chilling i haven't been back to work yet only because i'm waiting for them to switch me over to um the new store that i'm gonna be working at since i moved and that's about it recovery time was easy and fast um when i went to see the doctor september 20th he told me in two weeks you can go back to your normal life exercise working out <clears throat> lifting things you know um being more active and i was like all right cool so right now we're in a two-week span um oh let me show you guys my incisions they healed pretty good i'm not even gonna lie let me see so i'm still a little bloated and i just ate lunch let me move you guys back some more so you can see um you can hardly see my scars which i'm very happy about don't judge me y'all i'm extremely bloated but uh, let me zoom the camera in let me get a different angle all right so this is a better angle as you guys can see this was my scar where my drainage hole was at it's not too bad let me turn the flash on so y'all can see because i don't have no lights hooked up right now so yeah but um this is where my drain was this one is already closed up my other incision my belly button incision this isn't it that's my belly ring my belly button incision is good it's kind of swollen in the inside but that's whatever and then i got these two here which look fairly good i am still swollen if i look funny it's because i'm on my knees but um i just ate a really big lunch that's why my stomach looks even bigger than what it is but this is what my stomach looks like right now because i'm fresh out of eating lunch i can only suck it in that much um, my bruising is going away i'll definitely come back in a couple hours and show you guys what my stomach looked like or maybe tomorrow morning when it's not full um but yeah those are my incisions i know i look crazy yeah so whoa too close to you guys out so i've literally just been extremely happy about my surgery um I can finally like lay on my stomach before I couldn't lay on my stomach not even for a brief moment without like feeling excruciating pain I can wear like semi tight I haven't really tried on tight clothes but like my clothes that were like body suits and dresses that used to fit me really tight in my abdomen area no longer fit that tight I'm telling y'all my stomach real look real big right now because I just finished eating a whole chicken sandwich and fries and snacks so my stomach looks huge right now but i guarantee you i'm going to give you guys a shot the following morning of what my stomach looks like before i eat so that way you guys can get a full like view of what my stomach really looks like after surgery like three three weeks after surgery um I'm trying to think i really don't have anything else to say i oh yes i do lying so um, after I went to my follow-up appointment, talked to my doctor. He told me before in the hospital, like you know, we should have gave you a hysterectomy. Both of my fallopian tubes are closed, which means I won't be able to have kids naturally on my own. Um, when he first told me that, I was like devastated. My heart was in shambles. I was upset. I was crying and everything else. And then. I looked around and I was like, bro, like, why would I want to have kids in this day and age? It's, it's trash. Like, this world is so trash. I don't even want kids in this day and age. Like, that's, that's a lot of extra fear and, um, it's just a lot of extra of everything. And in this day and age, I don't feel like a kid is, is what I need. Like, or what I want, I should say. Like, we're short of on food, okay? Kids are getting hurt in school every day. All the time they're getting hurt in school. Like, your kids aren't even safe in the one place they're supposed to be safe at. So, I refuse to bring someone into this world, and this world is trash. Plus, me and my boyfriend don't want kids. We we talked about this when we first got together. Like, having kids is not on our roster. Sage is our only kid. Like, it, it's just it's just not conducive in this day and age. Um, not saying, you know, anybody that has kids is a problem. If whatever floats your boat and finds your lost remote, do it. But over here? Mm-mm. Mm 
Mm. If you did not already, go hydrate. Get you some water. I'm sorry this lighting isn't the best, y'all, but I just, I'm tired. The weather is gloomy, and I just want to go take a nap. But I decided to record, so sorry if my energy is not the hypest. Um, let's see, what else can I talk to you guys about? That's really it. I kind of cover all the bases of everything in the first video. And then even in this video, you guys will see, like, what I went through and what I dealt with. All I can say is, if you are a black woman and you are experiencing heavy periods, extreme cramping, sex during intercourse, I mean, in pain during intercourse, um bloating, like your stomach is extremely huge and you're not gaining any weight, tell your doctor to check you for ovarian fibroids, okay? Because, as we all know as black women, they don't check on us. But they don't do the things for us that they should when we tell them that we're in pain. So I'd say if you have any of these issues, go to your gynecologist, get checked out. It could be an STD or it could just be that you are suffering from a further worse condition. Um, and advocate for yourself a lot. That's what I had to do. I had to advocate for myself in order to get where I am now to having this surgery. Which I don't mind because at the end of the day, if you don't do it, who gonna do it? Point blank period. But I feel like I recovered in a good time. Mm. Like I said, the first two weeks, the first two weeks of being out of surgery, very uncomfortable, very, um, just very painful very annoying i can say like i was very insecure during my recovery not of anything that anyone did to me well not anything that my boyfriend did to me i should say because i just felt like i was a burden to him because i couldn't do nothing for myself that's the one thing i did can say i hated about recovery is that like i couldn't do nothing for myself and i felt like a burden and i hated every ounce of it and now that i can like move and get going and do what i gotta do i'm like i don't need no help i'm good da -da 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 i'm here i'm z i'm zipping and going um, I just can't wait to get back to work and get back to my normal life. As you guys can see, I've been trying to keep up with doing content. It's so hard when you're just trying to make sure your body gets the full recovery it needs. At this point, I am at the end of my recovery stretch. He said four to six weeks. I'll be going to my fourth week next week, which isn't even really necessary because I feel great. Um... I actually started lifting stuff today. I'm, today I lifted the heaviest thing I've lifted since my surgery. Um, I started out with a gallon of water. After my visit, after like my my visit with my doctor, I had started picking up gallons of water because I felt strong enough to do so. Um, and then today I picked up like a bin that was just full of wigs. It wasn't too heavy. It had to be probably like six, seven pounds, if that. Um, I'm just happy I got this procedure done. I'm happy that my doctor listened to me when I told him that I was in pain. I'm I'm sad about the whole like not being able to have kids thing, but at the same time, uh, it's like water off a duck's feathers, just gonna roll off at this point. I really don't like, and I'm not gonna make it a big deal. Of course, I cried about it the first couple times. Like I said before, I sat on this couch and cried to my boyfriend about it, and I was in tears and almost inconsolable um but now that i think about it it's just not a good thing to do i mean i, I got nieces i'll be the auntie i'm supposed to be travel the world but i'm gonna take a nap y'all and i will see y'all in the morning to give you an example of what my stomach looks like when it's not bloated with food and water and the things of the day i'm tired and if you made this far and you still haven't subscribed since i don't know what you're waiting for this is part two and you still ain't subscribed you're wilding um if you haven't watched part one already i'll put it in the description bar down below i'll put the little eye in the corner but i will see you guys in the mananas i'm gonna take a nap that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a nap Okay, so this is just a view of what my stomach looks like now. 
Um, I haven't really eaten anything today, but as you can see, this is much flatter. Like if I turn to the side, if you go back to my first video, you'll see that this is really enlarged. It was out to match my stomach. Um, now it's pretty flat. My stomach is still uh, swollen. Doctor said it's going to take about a month or two for the swollen to be completely gone. But this is what it looks like. Like I said before, if you go back to the old picture, oh, I was swollen from up here on down. So my belly was about this big. Um, I'm going to take a picture so I can do a comparison. But this is what my stomach looks like now. I can suck it in this much. I can push it out that much. But... It's looking good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you guys have made it this far into the video and you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? Joining the Grace Gang is free. And until next time, you guys already know what I'm going to say. So say it with me. We out. Peace.